what you would do if you won the lottery. The lottery. <laughs> and you had and one week to spend all of your money. You won five billion dollars. <laughs> what would you do? Buy the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> what? <laughs> Buy the Dallas Cowboys. Oh. Yeah. I wonder how much that would cost. I don't know. Like a hundred millions, I think. <laughs> Yuri, if you won the lottery yes. and you had one yeah. week to spend your money, what would you buy? Or what would you do with it? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, did you see me? Uh, uh, Samantha. Yeah. Uh, but uh, but uh, you, uh, your view is blinking. I'm blinking? Yes. Blinking and uh, uh, your voice uh, uh, goes uh, from far. Uh, is it the uh, same for everybody else? Is my video? Oh, uh, uh, now just is good. Just is okay. Oh. Not for me, it's good. It's no, okay. It's good. Renee, is it okay? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yuri, it might just be your connection. Oh. So hopefully, oh, nice. um, if you have any oh, yes. anything else open, if you oh, have, yeah. um, if you're downloading anything, or if you have any other, way, try mm -hmm. to exit them. Things uh, no, like no, no. Skype or a messenger. No, no, no. If you exit uh, them, then hopefully it'll go a little bit more quickly for you. Now I have problems. Okay. <laughs> I froze for a second. Uh, yeah, you're frozen. Okay. Samantha, don't leave. <laughs> I win it. <laughs> hey, Alex. Hey, Alex. You're here again. Uh, we took two classes, and now this is the third class we we take now. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Someone what time is there? It's two a.m. It's two a.m. Two a.m. Ah oh, well, we, hey, here in Colombia it's three a.m. Yeah, one hour. Yeah, that's one hour. I think that there there is more. Yearly, oh. but this is this is well. No? Okay. 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 Renee, are you gonna do any more classes after this, or are you gonna go to bed? I don't know. Let me check. <laughs> Just stay up all night. <laughs> you can learn lots of English. I hope so. Okay, Yuri, is it working for you now? Uh, not good. A little bit better. Uh, uh, just I change another browser, uh, maybe uh, uh, Google Chrome. Yeah, um, it works better. well in Google Chrome. Okay, um, just I re, uh, re restart. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, yeah. Okay, um, and Renee and Alex, I have uh, two documents uploaded, uploaded to, Google to Google Drive. Drive. Okay. So if you guys can just try to access them. I'll give you access so you can see them. Yeah. Okay. Okay, one second. There we go. And we All go. nine English. There. So today, um, for reading, we're going to be reading about two actresses from the 50s, 60s, 40s -ish era. So mainly in the 50s was when they were the most famous. Um, have you guys heard of Marilyn Monroe? Yes. And Audrey Hepburn. Um, Alex, I have a little echo coming from you. Yeah, I I, I will mute uh, when I. Talk, uh, well, okay. So just okay. make sure you only have the hangout window open. Okay? Perfect. Hi, Mohammed. Oh. Hello, my sister, my, uh, my teacher. How are, you? <laughs> How are you? Fine, and you? Good, thanks. 
Um, I was just saying we I uploaded two documents to Google Drive. So the do they have the material that we're going to read today. So if you want to go um, and open them up, we're going to be talking about some American actresses from the 50s, um, Audrey Hepburn and Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. So Renee said he's heard of Marilyn Monroe. Has everybody else? She's pretty yes. famous. <laughs> what about Audrey Hepburn? Has anybody heard of Audrey Hepburn? Ye uh, ye Yuri? Uh, yes, it's famous uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 actress. Uh, uh, sh uh, she has died, uh, I know, in uh, 1984 or 85. Yeah. Um, uh, I think uh, she was uh, n uh, n nominated. Uh, uh, to, uh, to American awards, mm -hmm. uh, but I, I do, but I don't remember what film it was. Yeah, uh, there were lots and lots of films. They were both in quite a few films, and they were uh, they were both um, nominated for multiple awards. Yes, and uh, I uh, think he's uh, uh, one of uh, her best film uh, uh, Vacation in Rome uh, on, on with Peter O'Toole. Yes. Cool. Um, that's okay, Lily. Yeah. <laughs> There's a couple documents on Google Drive that we're going to look at. Um, yeah. Alex, have you heard of Marilyn Monroe or Audrey Hepburn? Uh, well, I heard about she. Uh, she was an uh, uh, actress, a model. Um, mm -hmm. She wore she um, get naked. I don't know how can I say it. She choked. She she choked. I don't know how can I say it. She choked. No, um, like, show. Like. She showed herself. Showed. Showed. Show, right. Yeah. In a movie, make you know it, and and I don't know. And, and there are a band for from Chile, uh, prisoners, and sing a song about it. About she, excuse me, about she uh, who killed her, uh, Kimato Marilyn. Oh, okay. No. So a song about her. About her. Yeah, that I don't know uh, all about her. I, I, a little. You just know a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Well, we'll we'll do some reading today. So we'll we'll learn about her today. Okay. So if everybody clicks on Google Drive and opens up the document called Reading Beginner Reading Marilyn. So we're going to talk a little bit about Marilyn Monroe. We're going to do some reading, and then we're going to answer some reading comprehension questions to see how well we understand what we've read, okay? Okay. Okay, does everybody have the document open? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And hello to Amira and Lily, who have just joined us. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have microphones. It's okay if you don't, we, you can just follow along with us. Okay. All right, so on the first page, there are four um, paragraphs that we're going to read, and there's a big picture of Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> so it's Lily. It's on Google Drive. So over on the left-hand side, you can click Google Drive, and you should be able to open the document there. It is kind of a weird picture. <laughs> it's um, it's pop art. Have you heard of pop art? Like Andy Warhol. It's that style. Okay, so um, just so that I'm not the one reading, I'm going to get you guys to read out loud, and we'll do a bit of reading practice. We'll read through the document two times, and then we'll answer the questions, okay? Okay. So let's start with Yuri. Okay. Um, uh, Marilyn Monroe. Uh, Norma Jean Baker was born in 1926 in Los Angeles, California. She had no mother and no father. Uh, her home was in orphanages. Orphanages. 
when she was young. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, when she was young, she dreamed of becoming a, f a famous actress. Good. Does anybody know what an orphanage is? It's a, per a person who live uh, with, uh, without father and mother. Right. So an orphan is a orphan. person without mother and father. Orphanage, orphanage is the place that they live. So the orphanage is the place, and the orphan is the person. So oh, yeah. she was an orphan living in orphanages. Yeah. Okay. Uh, number two, Alex. Okay. Um, later, Armagian Baker moved it, move it to move, Hollywood. move, okay. move to Hollywood. She she changed her name. To Marilyn Monroe, she worked hard and became a very successful actress. Successful, okay. And she started she started in six movies, including some like in Hot, that seven years each, and Mitzi. At first, people thought she was a bad actress. So she worked harder and become a better actress. Good. Good. Uh, number three, Amira, are you there? Uh, Lily, are you there? Yeah. Okay. Did you find the document? Yeah. Okay. Great. Um. Do you want to read number three? Okay. Um. Marilyn Monroe was married three times. She was uh, 14 years old the first time she was married. Her second marriage, marriage, <laughs> marriage? Uh, marriage was to Joe Di Maio, a famous American baseball player. Her third marriage, marriage <laughs> was to Arthur Miller, a writer. Good. Uh, marriage. Marriage. Perfect. Okay. Um, <coughs> Mohammed? Yes. You want to read number four? Okay. Marilyn Monroe was very intelligent, intelligent and beautiful. She was also very su successful in Hollywood, but she was not happy when she was uh, 36 years old. She killed her herself when we was alive. She was a sex symbol. After she died, she became a Hollywood legend. Okay, really good. Good job. Um, Thanks. Let's read it through one more time, so you guys will each get to read a different part this time. Um, Renee, can you read number one? We're just going to read it through one more time before we answer the questions, okay? All right. Marilyn Monroe. Norma Jan Baker was born in 1926 in Los Angeles. California, she had no mother and no father. Her home was in orphanages. Mm -hmm. And when she was young, she dreamed of becoming a famous actress. Good. Uh, number two, Yuri. Okay. Later, Norma Jean Baker moved to Hollywood. She changed her name to Marilyn Monroe. She worked hard and became a very successful actress. She uh, st starred in six movies. Starred? She starred. Okay. She starred in six movies, including some uh, like it hot, The Seventh Year Each, and Misfits. At first, people. At first, people thought uh, she was a bad actress. So she worked hard and became a better actress. Good. Um, Alex, number three. Marilyn Monroe. Excuse me. Uh, the, Sorry, the, Amira, you have a lot of background noise. There is a noise. Excuse me. Okay. Yeah. So, Amira, if you can just make sure that we only. 
but the only window you have open is Google Hangout. <laughs> okay. That was great. Okay. Yes. Okay, Alex. Um, let's try okay. this again. Number three. <laughs> Marilyn Monroe was married three times. She was a 14 years old the first time she was she was married. Her second marriage was in, to Joy DiMaggio, a famous American baseball player. Her third marriage was an Arthur Miller, a writer. Good. Uh, number four, Lily. Um, Marilyn Monroe was very intelligent and beautiful. She was also very successful in Hollywood, but she was not happy. When she was 36 years old, she killed herself. When she was alive, she was a sex symbol. After she died, she became a Hollywood legend. Okay, good. So now that we've read this twice, are there any words that anybody is confused about? Any vocabulary words that you want me to explain? Or define? No? Misfits. Misfits? So yeah. that's the title of one of her movies. But a misfit is somebody who doesn't fit in with everyone else. So someone who's maybe a little bit strange or looks different, acts different than everyone else, then you could call them a misfit. Okay. Um, I have a question about the pronunciation. For example, is marriage or marriage? Is marriage? Marriage. Um, in, in married? Married. 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 So for, so for marriage, marriage, just repeat yeah. after me, okay? Okay. Edge. Edge. Erage. Erage. Marriage. Marriage. Yeah. Marriage. Yes. Marriage. Yeah. And then mar married. 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 Yes. And the married. 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 The last question is about the word work and work is work worked. worked in the past work yeah it's in yeah, the past, past. whenever work. the verb has ed at the end okay. it's in the past work work worked right yeah yeah okay. thank you you're welcome you're and welcome. can you make sure you have the other window exited because we have an echo coming from you. Not, Not sure. Uh, sure. Because uh, I, I have a laptop and the sound is okay, near okay. to the microphone. So then um, see if you can find some headphones maybe for next time. But for now it's fine if you just mute yourself like you've been doing. So it's okay. <laughs> um, any other questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? No questions. No? Okay. So if we go down to page page two, at the top it says reading comprehension. Answer the following questions using complete sentences. So these lines that you see, you can actually type into the document. <coughs> so this is for your benefit to make sure that you understand what you're reading. So it's a comprehension exercise, but also it'll help with your writing because we need to form proper complete sentences, okay? So we're going to do it together. Um, I'm going to get you guys to try to form the sentences and then I'll, I'll help you fix them so that they're perfect. Then we can type them in, okay? So the first question, and all of these questions are based on the reading. So if you don't know the answer, just go back up to the top and you should be able to find it. Okay, so the first question is what year was Norma Jean Baker born? So instead of just typing in the year, we want a full sentence. Norma Jean Baker was born in... 1926. 1926. So that would be your full sentence, right? Mm -hmm. So don't just write 1926. Okay, so let's do number two together. Number two is where was Norma Jean Baker born? How about in the chat, let's all try to write a complete sentence to answer the question, okay? Okay. 
machine walls fall in walls. Hi. Hi, we're looking at a Marilyn Monroe. It's on Google Drive. If you click Google Drive, you should be able to see it. I like the short oh. form. Was born in LA, California. She was born in. Yep, those are all perfect. Except, Mohammed, you have a typo with Los Angeles. So, what page are we in right now? We're on page two. We're answering the comprehension questions. Oh, Okay. Yeah, and also, um, I know you're just typing it, but make sure that um, you always use capital letters for places. I was born in Los Angeles. Good. Okay, perfect. So, this might be... Jane Baker was born in Los Angeles. Okay. Okay, number three. Uh, Yuri, can you read the question? Yes. What did Norma Jean Baker dream of becoming? What did she dream of becoming? So let's write a full sentence to answer that based on what we understand from the reading. Did you find the document okay? Yeah. So we're just I'm answering right the comprehension now. question. Um, if you want to, you can just take a minute to read it to yourself. The first page. Yeah. The questions are based on the first page, what we've read. Okay. Well, I want to confirm myself that. Can you hear me? Is it clear for you to hear my voice? Yep, yeah, it's perfect. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Dream of becoming a famous actress. Okay, remember your verb tense, Renee. So, Marilyn Monroe is dead. So you can't say she dreams, right? Oh, yes. Was dreaming to become the famous actress? Did dreamed of becoming a famous actress? Dream. Okay, so we're all really close. It's just that one verb. So when... She dreamed that she became a very famous actor, okay. So you need, if it's in the past tense, Baker. So we've all got the rest of the sentence, it's just that one verb. So it's in the past tense, it's already happened, and she's no longer dreaming. So it would be... Good, dreamed. Dream. Dream. And Yuri, you could say. Uh, uh, which one? Becoming a famous. You could say was dreaming. Was dreaming. Mm -hmm. You could say was dreaming. If you wanted to say was dreaming, that's the continuous past. So you might want to say. Um, copy and paste. That's okay. Um, and. Uh, uh, but, uh, when she uh, when she was alive, she was dreaming. Yes, exactly. Okay, perfect. Let's go to number four. Um, Lily, can you read out number four? Yes. Uh, where did Norma Jean Baker move? Where did she move? I hear a weird, like, squeaking sound. Does anybody else hear that? Mm -hmm. Hey, Mohammed, you have a little bit of background noise. Do you have a little background noise? What did he say? 
So I've just got you muted until you're ready to say something, okay? Okay, does everybody have an answer for number four? Where did she move? Move to Hollywood, perfect. What did he say? Good. You can just say she. You don't have to, because we keep saying Norma Jean Baker, Norma Jean Baker, so we can switch and just say she. At this point, we all know who we're talking about. Oh, yeah. Right? Okay. No, so Yuri, that's good. So you can just say she. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, yeah, Mohammed, you just have a tiny bit of background noise. It sounds like something's creaking or something. So if you can either use headphones, that would be really helpful, or just stay muted until you're ready to say something. Okay. Um, okay, good. So she moved to Hollywood. Number five. What did Norma Jean Baker change her name to? And Addy, as soon as you're ready to um, try to start answering the questions, you can uh, just type your answers into the chat, okay? Okay. So all of the questions are based on that reading at the top. So if you don't know an answer, you can scroll up and look back at the reading. Okay. Got a couple different answers. She changed her name to Marilyn Monroe. Good. Now for the next questions, I'm just going to ask you and you can just answer. We don't have to type the answers, okay? So just answer out loud. Um, so Marilyn Monroe starred in six films. Name two of these films. So you don't have to type. You can just tell me uh, two names of films that she starred in. Mid Speed? Mm hmm. And sunlight, <laughs> the seven U H. Good. Okay. At first, did people think Marilyn Monroe was a good actress? No. No, yeah. so uh, the people think that the Marilyn Monroe uh, was a bad actress. At first, did people think she was a good actress? Yes or no? No. No? But she so worked, not, right? Uh, she worked harder she to be a better actress. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next question. How many times was Marilyn Monroe married? Three. Three, three times. She was married three, three times. times. Good. She was married three times. So we still want to try to use full sentences. So she was married three times. Good. She was um, married three times. She was okay. married three times. Yeah. And then when she was married the first time, how old was she? Fourteen years old. Fourteen, Fourteen years old. So at in a first, full sentence? At first time she was married when she was fourteen. Good. So the first time she was married, and then you would use a comma. She was 14 years old. 14 years old. Good. That's pretty young. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Um, who did she marry the second time? Who did she marry the second time? Joy DiMaggio. She was married with Joe DiMaggio. 
I would imagine. imagine. Good. So you would say the second time. Awesome. She married. 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 Joe. What's his name? Joe DiMaggio. Yeah. Yes, Joe DiMaggio. Okay, good. Uh, baseball next player, question. right? Pardon? Baseball player. I think. Um, I think he was an actor. Yeah. Oh no, he was a baseball player. You're right. A famous American <laughs> baseball player. So she was married three times. <laughs> so, um, her third marriage was to Arthur Miller. Was he a baseball player? No, he was right. Yes, he was a writer. writer. He was a right. writer. No, he was a writer. Okay, next question. Was Marilyn Monroe successful in Hollywood? Yes, she was. Good. Yes, she was successful in Hollywood. Was Marilyn Monroe happy? It's a philosophic question. Pardon? It's a philosophic question. Um, yes, it maybe is. Maybe she was happy when he played uh, his role, but she was, uh, uh, but she was dying. Too young. Mm -hmm. yeah. So maybe happy. you could say she was happy on the surface. Yes, yes. But but in deeper, uh, she uh, she wasn't happy. Good. She uh, wasn't I happy. I have a question. Uh, so it's kind of a deeper question than just a yes or a no, right? Okay. okay. Um, how old was Marilyn Monroe when she died? She was 36 years old. 36. And how did she die? She killed herself. Good. Does anybody else, anybody know another way to say killed herself? Suicide. 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 And if you're talking about the verb, how would you say? Uh, she, uh, she became suicide. You could say she became suicidal. So that would be her feelings before she died. She became oh. suicidal, but when she actually kills herself, it's called committing suicide. Committing mm. suicide. So you yes. would say she committed mm. suicide is another way to say she killed herself. Okay. Okay. Great. So there are some other exercises on this page, but I want to focus on the reading. So let's go to the next document and learn a little bit about Audrey Hepburn. Okay. So everyone can just minimize or close that one for now and then we'll open up the second document it's called beginner reading Audrey okay does everyone have it open no, but uh, what, uh, what is the page? So you click on Google Drive. Yeah. And underneath where it says Beginner Reading Marilyn, there's a second document called Beginner Reading Audrey. Does everybody have it open? Yep. 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 And who just joined us? Um. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to learn a little bit about Audrey Hepburn. She was another actress, um, another American actress in the same time period as Marilyn Monroe. They're both very famous. Um, Generally, I think people are more familiar with Marilyn Monroe's life than Audrey Hepburn. So we're going to do a little bit of reading. Okay. 
about Audrey. Okay, so we'll see on the first page. We have just a short reading there, and we're going to do the same thing that we did last time. We'll take turns reading through it. We'll read the document twice, and then we'll answer some questions. Okay, so let's start with Addy. Do you have it open? If he's there. I was born in, on the like it might be frozen. of May and died three weeks late. Say Hollywood actress Andrew Harper. Three weeks after she was born, her, her heart struck. Her mother saved her life with a little slap. Good. Okay. Lily, can you read the second paragraph? Sure. Um, Audrey in Brussels, Belgium in uh, 1929. Her father was an English banker and her mother was a Dutch baroness. baroness. Mrs. Hapurn began her career as, as a graceful dancer and model. model. She also appeared in small parts in European films. Hollywood mm -hmm. soon became interested in the pretty actress. In Hollywood, she appeared in over 30 films, including Roman Holiday, Holiday 1951, <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Funny Face, uh, 1957, mm -hmm. and Breakfast at Tiffany's, 1961. She mm -hmm. became famous for her theme figure, Beautiful Eyes, and Quick Intelligence. Good. Okay, next paragraph. Um, Mohammed? And Danielle, you've just joined us. We're looking on Google Drive at the second document. Um, it's about Audrey Hepburn, if you want to follow along, OK? And hello, it's nice to meet you. OK, nice to meet you. So we're just on the first page of the document about Audrey Hepburn. Okay. Uh, Mohammed, can you read the next paragraph? OK. From, nine, from nine, I want to join. From, from 1988, Miss. Miss Hepburn worked for the, the United Nations Children's Fund. Mm -hmm. UNICEF, this work made her famous all over the world. On January 20, 1993, at the age of 63, Miss Hepburn died of a cancer in Switzerland. Perfect, Switzerland, good. Uh, Renee, can you read the last paragraph? Yep. Audrey Hepburn said, remember if you ever need a helping hand, it's at the end of your arm. As you get older, you must remember that you have a second hand. The first one is to help yourself, uh, the second one is to help others. That's clever, right? If you ever need a helping hand, it's at the end of your arm. <laughs> okay. All right, let's read this one more time, and then I'll go over the vocabulary, and then we'll answer some questions, okay? So, uh, Yuri, can you read the first paragraph? Okay, I was born on the 4th of May and died three weeks later said Hollywood actress Audrey Hepburn. Three weeks after she was born, her heart stopped. Her mother saved her life with a little slap. Do you guys think this is true? Her mother just slapped her and she came back to life? Maybe. It's possible? Yes, <laughs> it's, it's like possible. It's, you, she might have exaggerated maybe, or it, maybe it did happen. It's possible. Um, I'm not sure if I'm here or not. Oh, no, he's not. Okay, Alex, can you read the second paragraph? Okay. Andrew Hartbrown was born in Brussels, Belgium, in 19, 1929. Her father was an England baker, and her mother was a um, Dutch baron. Miss Hartbrown began the here. Her career as a beautiful dancer and model. She also appeared in a small part in the European film. So it was a big camp, interested in the interesting and pretty ready in Hollywood. She appeared in over 15 
froze a little bit. Yeah, with technical problems. That's okay. I'll finish. Uh, including Roman Holiday, Funny Face, and Breakfast at Tiffany's. She became famous for her thin figure, beautiful eyes, and quick intelligence. Sorry, uh, Alex, you just froze a little bit at the end. <laughs> but good job. Um, Danielle? Yeah. Can you read the next paragraph? From 1988, Mr. Hepburn worked for the United Nations Children's Foundation, UNICEF. This yep. work made uh, fund. her. Uh, sorry? Children's Fund. There's a difference between a fund and a foundation. So a fund is specifically um, for for gathering money. Um, so it's like a um, oh what's the word? A charity. <laughs> That's the word. <laughs> I'm trying to think of. So a fund versus foundation. They're a little bit different. And Danielle, I think you might be muted. So just click on your microphone. Okay. There we go. Okay. Keep going. Sorry. This work made her famous uh, all uh, over the world on January 20, 1993. Mm -hmm. At the age of the of uh, 63, Mr. Mm -hmm. Herborn died of the cancer in Switzerland. Perfect. Good. Okay. Um, Lily. Yeah. Can you read the next paragraph? Okay. Um, Ari Hepburn said, remember, if you ever need a helping hand, it's at the end of your arm. As you get older, you must remember that you have a second hand. The first one is to help yourself. The second one is to help others. Okay, good job. Has everybody heard the expression, a helping hand? Helping hands. A helping hand. It doesn't literally mean like a hand to help. It means um, lending someone a helping hand just means helping somebody out. So sharing your ability to help someone. So this is kind of her little saying. Remember, if you ever need a helping hand, it's at the end of your arm. So she's being clever. Um, and it says that's something that she used to she used to tell people. And then when we're looking at uh, UNICEF, has anybody heard of UNICEF before? Yes. Yes. If you were in my Halloween class, I don't know if any of you were, but we were talking about how children go around with these little orange and black boxes to collect money for UNICEF. So UNICEF is a charity that's still going on today. People are still collecting money for UNICEF today. Um, United Nations Children's Fund is what it's called. Um, okay, and are there any okay. vocabulary words that anybody's confused about? Any words that you want me to pronounce for you or explain? Slap. Slap? You want me to show slap. you? <laughs> That's slap. <laughs> so, <laughs> so they're saying that when she was a baby, um, probably laying down, her heart stopped. And her mother slapped her in the face, slapped her, and all of a sudden she came back to life. So it was enough to jolt her or to startle her to come back to life. That's what they're saying. So I was asking, do you guys think this is a true story? No, uh, why not? It's possible. It seems, yes, it's like poss it, it seems kind of strange, but it is possible, right? Maybe yeah. her heart just needed a, enough of a jolt um, or a surprise that the slap did it, but slapping someone is taking your hand and <laughs> usually if you're mad. <laughs> the, the, okay. the slap was Miss. A, a helping hand. Yeah, um... The aggressful. In this case, uh, she was lending a helping hand, I guess, by slapping her. <laughs> you could say. Um, aggressful dancer means a dirty dancer? No, uh, graceful is like a ballerina. So someone who dances very lightly, yeah. that's gracefully. Light, being light on your toes, very soft movements, that would be dancing gracefully. So it's actually pretty much the opposite of a dirty dancer. Gracefully is nice and calm and like a ballerina. Um, 
Any other questions about any of these words? No questions. No? Okay. Okay, so let's go down to the second page and we've got some more vocabulary, or sorry, we've got some more comprehension questions. So again, for the first few, we'll type out our full sentence answers. And then for the last ones, I'll just ask you and you can answer them out loud, okay? So, um, Mohammed, can you read the first question? Okay, wait. What, when is Idri Hepburn's birthday? Get it, Audrey Hepburn. Audrey Hepburn? Mm -hmm. Okay. So when is her birthday? So in a full sentence, can we answer this? Uh, you can type it in the chat. So, for example, if you're just joining us, a full sentence answer would be Audrey Hepburn's birthday is May 4th. If is on the 4th of the May. Right. So a full sentence answer would be Audrey Hepburn's birthday is May 4th, 1929 or yeah. is the 4th of May, 1929. Okay? So now okay. let's do the second question and I'll get you guys to try to answer it in a full sentence. So question number two, Renee, can you read it? What happened to Audrey Hepburn when she was three weeks old? Weeks. So type up a full sentence to answer that question. When Audrey Hepburn was three weeks, her heart suddenly stopped. Good. So you have to say when she was three weeks old. Okay. Three weeks old. Her heart okay. suddenly stopped with two Ps. Stop. Okay. Okay. Anybody else have a, an answer typed up? Her heart stopped and her mother tried to save her life with a little slap. Perfect. Thanks. Except you have to have a capital at the start and a period at yes. the end. But Thanks. besides that, it's perfect. <laughs> Anybody else? No, sorry, some other. Okay, so let's go to number three. Oh, we pretty much just answered yes. that. So number four, where was she born? Where was she born? Oh, we lost Ayu. Oh, not Ayu. Um, she was Yuri. <laughs> she was born huh? in Belgium. Huh? Where was she born? Someone just said it. She was born in Brussels, Belgium. Good. Right. Oh, okay. Good. And then you just want to make sure you use a capital letter for both places, so. Oh, okay, okay, sorry. Perfect. Okay, next one. Was her mother a princess? Mm, no. Her mother no. Was a baroness. <laughs> okay, so you would say no. Her mother. She wasn't a mother. Wasn't a she was a uh, 
Perfect. No, her mother was a baroness. Or if you want to get complicated. Okay, good. Uh, next question. Did Miss Hepburn begin her career as a singer? Google Plus. Hi, Ian. He, she was a, a dancer and a model. So did she begin her career with as a singer? No, she didn't. She was a, a model and a Begin her career mm -hmm. as a graceful dancer and a model. Perfect. Nice. Except graceful. Yeah, mm -hmm. only has one L. Does anybody else have a sentence typed? No, she didn't. She began her career as a graceful dancer and model. No, she did not. She started her career as a model and valor. So it would be. And she, uh, sorry, sorry, she was. Mm -hmm. And Danielle, it's just dancer with a, with a C. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so whenever I type a word and put a, little, put a little star beside it, that's just me correcting your spelling. That's all. But okay. your sentence is good. Okay, uh, let's go down to a couple um, questions near the bottom. So number 10. Was Audrey Hepburn famous for her quick intelligence? Yes, she was. Good. Lily, so if you wanted to make the sentence a little bit more complicated, what what could you add? Hi, SM. No, she didn't. No. Hello. Hey, how are you? How are you? Uh, fine. Good. We're looking at a document on Google Drive about Audrey Hepburn. <coughs> so, mm -hmm. if you click. Miss, no, she didn't. Yes, she was. Who says no, she wasn't? I am. Muhammad. Okay, why do you think she wasn't? She appeared in a small film, a Europe film. Mm -hmm. And then she look at the very happened. end of that paragraph, the last sentence of that paragraph. She became a famous for her film vigor before. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. So the question was, did she become famous for her quick intelligence? Yes, she was famous for her quick intelligence and other things. So it wasn't just because she was smart. She was also very thin. She had beautiful eyes. She was very helpful. Dan Danielle's right. She was famous um, for helping children, for helping children, because she worked um, for UNICEF, so she was 
famous for that. She was famous for her acting. There were a lot of different reasons that she was famous. And yes, one of them was her intelligence. So. so to write kind of a more complicated sentence than just, yes, she was, Lily has said, yes, she was, also for her thin figure and beautiful eyes. And Danielle's right, also for helping children. And also for her acting skills. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So let's look at another question. How <laughs> question number fifteen is kind of funny. How many hands do you have? How <laughs> <laughs> many? <laughs> Two. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna ask a different question. What is a helping hand? What does it mean to lend a helping hand? I'll type this because this question isn't on the sheet. I'm I'm making it up. What does it mean to lend a helping hand? There's there's any paragraph so I have to follow you, please, church, please. Sure, SM. If you just click on Google Drive, I'll show you. See over in the side here? You see where it says Google Drive? So you click Google Drive, and then there's two documents. So we're looking at the document about Audrey Hepburn. It's called Beginner Reading Audrey. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Mohammed to help her. Good. So in a full sentence, what does it mean to lend a helping hand? To lend a helping hand means to give help for someone to need, who need a help. Yeah, exactly. So to lend, I'll type what you just said, hand. When your friend or other person in trouble, you should give him a helping hand. Perfect. So when your friend or another person is in trouble, he's in trouble. You give them a helping hand. Because you're talking about more than one person, right? Oh, yeah. You would say that. Thank you. When you open the hand, you open your heart to everybody. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> when you